I'm Video Game Hunter, representing the Console Explosion, and I am here with... I am Conan Bell of Conan Bell Comics, and I make comics. Okay, so, what's this comic book you showed me earlier today? Alright, I actually have two comic books. Okay. This one is Novita Life, number one. It is about a group of creatures that used to live with human, with human beings, but now they don't live with human beings, and they have to learn to cope with that. It is a tale of drama, action, suspense, and all those other good adjectives. Nouns. Whatever. <laughs> it's alright. This one is my featured item for today. It is called Cappy and Barra. Okay. It's more of a comedic sitcom type thing about a poor, hapless woman who finds two Frankenstein-style children who basically destroy the very foundations of her life. Oh, so are they taking care of these kids, or...? She is, but, um... She doesn't always enjoy it. And let me tell you something, every parent I've made that description to has always said, wow, so they're kind of like real-life children. Oh, little monsters. Which terrifies me to no end. Oh, I saw... About this, about this comic right over there. Uh-huh. Um, what's it called? Uh, no Vita Life. No Vita Life. You told me it's like Pokemon a little bit, how... Yes. In that these are creatures with fantastical abilities, but the fantastical abilities are a very different nature from how Pokemon work. Okay. Usually, most of the time, they require human partners in order to use them to their fullest extent. But they don't have those anymore. So now they have to deal with existing in a hostile environment without those abilities at their aid. There is, there are still occasional, a uh, little, a little spoiler here for you guys. There are still little things they can do. Like for example, this is, the main character's name is Boomer. This is him taking off his belt buckle and turning it into a boomerang. Awesome! And yeah, using said boomerang. Boomer's the red guy, by the way. So how long have you been doing comics? Let's see, actually making comics is relatively recent. It's been about, um, I want to say two or three years since I made my very first comic, okay. which I also brought today. It's Jungle Ways, number one. You gave me that one. Yep, about, yep. Something about um, furries on an island, right? Yes, it is. It is about a human boy who goes off to live on an island populated by anthropomorphic creatures, which are colloquially known as furries. <laughs> Alright, so how did he get to that island? Oh, it's basically just a very simple type of his family moved there. This island just kind of exists in this world. And there's a lot in this story that, for all of its weirdness, you just have to learn to just let go and accept it. And that's one of the lessons that he has to figure out himself. Alright. Um... I guess I ran out of questions to ask. Is there anywhere we can find you or Facebook, Twitter? You can find me on my DeviantArt page, which is Conan Dash Bell. Is this just my name with a little dash in the okay. middle? And I also have a YouTube page where I actually do something very different. It's called Fighting Leaf. It's part of a group called Z Media Productions. And I review kids' movies there with the aid of a rubber wolf puppet. I have a question what kids' movie do you review? I have, I usually try to stick to modern stuff, although recently I have been delving more into, more into 70s type of stuff at the request of my fans. Okay, I got one. Have you ever reviewed, um, Watership Down? I have not reviewed that. I have seen it, though. Do you think that should be a kid's movie? You know what? That would be a very interesting question to explore someday if I can ever track down a copy of it. Okay. And I guess that's it. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much. Okay, all right. And that's it. Bye-bye.